Hallelujah. 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 Come on and shout. Hallelujah to the Abba. Who is excellent and all that he has. Shower down upon us as a nation and a people. Hallelujah. Oh yes, you may you may be seated. Hallelujah. What a, what a great blessing that your grandson to a people that we may we may come before his presence and gather in the power of his name and simply implying that we trust what has been written in the chronicles of the pages of his Sefa, the book of Revelation, the book of knowledge, the book that has been opened by the light. And your sure is that light that brings the excellence of Yah's knowledge, his understanding to the bosom of Yisrael. It is one thing that a man can have a tremendous plethora of understanding and wisdom Yet it seems as though that in the night season when everything looks bleak, when he sees the sun began to shine, he is refreshed. And that is what your sure does, he refresh. He refreshes the hope, the tikva, the promises of Yam that he has put in the bosom of Yisrael. What a great delight that is Yisrael. Let us not be discouraged despite what opposition we're facing, the battle. And it may seem so tremendous and it seems as though that you cannot overcome the circumstances. But if we just trust, as the old ones would say, in the name of Yahshua, we trust in the promise of Yah, we can do all things. We can overcome, we can sustain, we have the power, the ability to endure. We have the mind of Yah, which gives us the conscience of Yah that there is great confidence that we can have in him. And so the battle is going to get intense. I would be, as the old ones would say, facetious and full of deception and lies if I tell you that it's going to get easier. But it's not in the sense that we're going to be tried. And everything that we base our principles upon, it must stand. Because if it doesn't stand, then woe unto us. If we do not have a solid foundation, then woe unto us, Yisrael. We must make sure where our anchor, the very strength, what we are attached to, that our anchor is anchored upon the rock. Your sure is that rock, is Torah. We must anchor our nefesh, our living substance, our being, our lives, upon the living resource of life. And there is only one living resource of life, and that is the Torah, the Imat, the truth of Almighty Yah. And we must base everything upon that because everything else is going to fail. You may think it is not going to succumb, but it's all coming down, Yisra'ya. Is coming down to the dust of the earth. The very foundations and the pillars shall be shall be thrown down. It shall be brought down to the side of the gates of hell. Because if it doesn't lift him up and esteem him, then it is not worth a nickel's worth of hog's meat. And that's the truth. We greet you all that have joined us. On this Khatve Imat in Torah truth, as we try to express that from the depths of a bosom that Yah enriches us, and then we walk accordingly as He has commanded us. We cannot be superficial, we cannot be hypocrites, we cannot be phony. The life we live must be expressed from our bosom that we walk in truth. We cannot be pretentious and full of folly, and liars and pretenders and pretending that we are and trying to emulate something that we have not achieved. It cannot be that, yes, right, yeah, it cannot be that way. Above all things, I don't want to be a hypocrite. 
Yeah. If I learned that, I learned that from Evangelist Hartsville. He would say to me often, son, uh, I don't want to be that, to be a hypocrite. Someone that is facetious and subtle in their lies and will try to deceive you. He said, that I don't want to be. Let me be found a liar, but not one that lives uh, a life that is duplicit, pretending to be something. Uh, and I know that I'm not worth a damn. You understand? Uh, I'm going to teach a little tonight. I had <clears throat> one of my friends, little friends that I watch out for, and I thought that we were somewhat friends. And so the little one asked my issue, was my uh, am I having problems tonight and so she said no well is he going to preach and so she replied to him yes he is going to teach and so he was somewhat uh, disgruntled with that he said he talks all that Hebrew and you don't well if he listens to what I say then I would not call him by name Neither will I try to shed light upon my little friend. <clears throat> and so because of him, he says to her, well, uh, he's going to be there too long. So I will make sure you that are listening and you that have joined us, the few, I will make sure that I accommodate my little friend tonight. All right. I will be very careful as to what he break. And that's somewhat difficult for me to do, Yisra'iyah, I did think or I presumptuously thought that as I enunciate the word that I bring clarity to that by defining the word. So somehow it did not reach my ach, my little re'ach. So I must make sure that there is great clarity above all things. That's why Yah never intended for the house to be divided, that you take the little ones and teach them here, you take those over here. He never intended for that to be. He intended for them to sit among the elders and to watch and to look and perceive and understand the very elegancy and the beauty of those uh, that were in line with the commands of Almighty Yah. And so I will certainly make sure that I am conscious of Him. Uh, if no one else tonight, all right. I want to begin this teaching, the dialogue, the preaching. From the writings of Tehillim, Psalms, the very, Psalms, the Shim of Dawit uh, that he sings. And these are given unto us for us to make shirim. And a shirim is a song, a melody from one's bosom. You don't have to make it up. This becomes alive to you. We don't have to write any kind of shiram, a song. It is all in the book for us. And everything that is in the book, uh, it esteems him above all things, Yisra'ya. So he has given us a plethora uh, of all kinds of shiram songs uh, to sing unto him. And die we in the midst of great agony as we shall be encroached upon and approached by the very adversary of darkness. Even our minds as it is attacked by the very conjured powers of hell as the enemy conjure up some of the most deep-seated things that we had no concept that our minds could lay hold on to that we find ourselves in this great battle. And there's an enemy that is pressing against us. And this was a result of Dawid as he, uh, as he was contending against the powers of hell. Uh, as we shall in a greater fashion than even Dawid did uh, in the hour that we are in. But we must have an anchor and an assurance. We must have the tikhzah. And the tikva, it is a it is a promise in the Torah of Yah that satisfies the bosom of Yisra'ya that we wait and we endure despite uh, 
the circumstances uh, and what we are confronted by, uh, there is a liveliness in us of that promise uh, because we know it shall be fulfilled, Yisrael. So we must have this tigva, this promise of Yah of excitement uh, that make us have this expectation. Uh, we must have that because uh, He is faithful if we trust Him, Yisrael. And in the midst of all of those great battles of David, uh, he began to cry out unto Yah. And this, I want to read this one verse particularly and precisely. To Helium Psalms, chapter 11, verse 3. He asked a profound question here, but yet there was assurance uh, to him from Almighty Yah. He says, if the foundation of the shakta, it is the stay of bread. If the foundation, Yisra'ya, if the purpose of Yah is lost from our bosom, if there is no purpose, no hafet, no pleasure of Yah in our bosom, if the foundation, if we have no support, from the Torah, from the teaching, from the preaching, uh, from the hearing. Uh, if the foundation uh, be shamat, be destroyed, if it be brought down, if there is no strength, if there is no support from the Torah of Yah, if it's not our stay, the breath, the lecham, uh, that cause our inward parts uh, to be fulfilled with delight uh, and grants unto us strength as we eat from the Torah of Yah. If the foundation is shamad, uh, it is brought down to desolation. Uh, it is desecrated. Uh, it is brought down to no substance at all. Uh, if it be destroyed, uh, then what can the sadiqam, the righteous, do? What can we do? Do. If we lose the stay of Yah, if we lose the breath of Yah, what can we do? If there is no foundation of strength in us, Yisra'ya, what can we do? If there is no foundation of power in us, if we have no confidence in this Torah, then how as Arzachin Yaramiya? as he has given unto us uh, a composite composition uh, of the very ingredients of the pillars, uh, uh, the four pillars of Almighty Yah, the wisdom, the understanding, uh, uh, the, the very counsel of Yah, the justice of Yah, the judgment of Yah, the Ruach HaKadash. He's given us that composition uh, and each of those stones that are solidified uh, by the power of the promise uh, of his Dabrim, uh, his word, Yisra'ah. So if that, if the foundation, uh, if that is destroyed, then what? What can we do as a nation uh, of people, what can we assay uh, or accomplish? How do we finish the work, Israya? How can we? It cannot be done. So I want to take on us on this revival to revive us that the foundation shall not be destroyed, Israya. It is not going to be destroyed. It is not going to be desolate. It's not going to be annihilated. Despite the opposition of hell, our battles, uh, as our minds are engaged in a spiritual warfare, and as sometimes we don't even know what the outlook is and which way to turn, Yisra'ah, but we have a sure foundation. We have a sure foundation. And the foundation shall not be destroyed. He's going to make sure that we have a stay uh, of bread. And he shows us that in the comforting of his Torah, as I shall guide us this evening, all right? I will move precisely for my young friend, all right? I want above all for him to hear. And I want him to time me above all people. You don't time me, but he can. Shalomo, in the midst of all of his powerful wisdom uh, and knowledge of Yah, he speaks unto us profoundly here in Mishli Proverbs, uh, 
chapter 8, verse 29. As the power of Yah and the stay of Yah's power is revealed unto him through his profound wisdom, his chukmah, his power and ability to discern what is of Yah. We must be able to discern what is birthed out of the bosom of Almighty Yahweh Israel. We must. We must understand what is the zira of the seed that it may take root in us as a nation of people. And he utters unto us profoundly and prophetically uh, in Proverbs 8.29. It says, uh, when Yahweh gave to the yam, the body of the sea, uh, which is also metaphorically the people, the masses uh, of the people, but he speaks of the great bodies of water. When he gave unto the sea uh, his uh, hook him or his hook. You tell me that Yah gave unto the sea the bodies of water, an ordinance, uh, a stature, a hook. Uh, he gave them an ordinance of limitation. Uh, he drew their boundaries uh, in the sand. Isn't that the beauty of Torah? Yeah. The foundation never, uh, uh, and the sea never goes beyond uh, the boundaries uh, of the statues of Yah. That's why he has given us statues. Uh, he has given us limitation. He has given us ordinance, Yah, that the foundation of Yah shall stand sure in our lives. He said he, he spoke to the sea, he gave the sea statues uh, that the water should not pass uh, his commands, uh, his theft. Uh, what was uttered out of his mouth, uh, that the water should not pass uh, his commands. Uh, he has given unto us his mitzvah, Yisrael. He has given unto us the stability, uh, the twelve, the twelve, the, the, the ten uh, powerful resounding uh, instructions. Uh, and from that we see the writings of those laws uh, in the bosom of Yisrael. That is what make us sadiq. Uh, that is what make us righteous. Uh, and that is what justifies us uh, by the imun of uh, the faith. Uh, of all Maria. So he commands the sea uh, by his statutes. Uh, he commands us by his statutes uh, and by his commands, uh, his faith, his mouth spoke it. As he spoke the commands unto Moshe uh, for the house of Yisrael, he said that the war is the Mayhem, the masses, uh, the congregation of the people. Uh, they shall no, not go beyond my commands. Uh, we shall not go beyond the boundaries of the commands of Yah Yisrael. When he, uh, when he hacha, when he appointed Yisrael, he inscribed that. He inscribed that in the sea. Has he not Nothan written his Torah in our bosom? He has written his Torah just like he written his law, his counsel, his constitution uh, with even the celestial bodies and the oceans and everything uh, that he has created. Uh, for we have a sure foundation, Yisrael. We have a sure foundation. And if we lose that, then we, what do we do? We have nothing uh, that we can do. We are finished. And there is no doubt to that, Yisrael. And he says, and uh, he appointed, when he appointed uh, the, the Musad, the foundations uh, of the earth. Uh, he is the one that appoints and establishes the foundation. It is the power of his Torah that establishes uh, the foundation of Yah in Yisra'ya. It is his stay. It is his shokta, the stay of Yah. It is what strengthens us. It is what calls us Yisra'ya. You cannot progress as our Zachin spoke to us on last Chat Ve'imat. He asked Aksimion to pan him. He said, we have four pillars here, do we not? There are four chorus in this house. You cannot go beyond. You cannot build upon anything unless you have a sure foundation. We must have the power to stay. We must have the power to stay. I will get into that a little later. When you stand and stay, then that's how you grow and mature and progress from that point. You're not going to do it any other way, Yisrael. You're not going to do it any other way at all. And here Shalomo gives us a 
prime example of beauty. Of the power of Yah's faith when he speaks unto us. Uh, and the power of what it creates in us. Uh, but that word of his mouth, uh, it created the boundaries uh, for the massive seas, the oceans. Uh, even the tsunamis by the commands of Yah cannot go but where he commands them uh, to go Yisra And he has prescribed unto us from his theft, his mouth, uh, his loins, uh, prescriptions of limitations, uh, how far we proceed and proceed no farther. Go to this extent uh, and do not go beyond that. What a great and powerful Abah he is. Uh, that he grants that unto us as a nation uh, of people, uh, his elect. We have a sure foundation in the midst of all of Timotheus' great agonies uh, and his battles. Uh, there was one by the name of Shaul as he wrote unto him uh, to reassure him of the sure foundation. He writes uh, explicitly unto Timotheus uh, to share this with the bay at the house of Yisrael, especially the Zochin. That they may know, that they may understand, that there may be a breath of tigva of the promises of Yah. Them quickly, Second Timotheus. Hallelujah. He warns him, Second Timothy two nineteen. In this letter, he warns him against the frivolity of the vain babbling and the talk that produce nothing at all. But he gives him great assurance here in Second Timothy two nineteen. He said, above all things, nevertheless, despite all opposition, nevertheless, he says, I want you to understand that the shakta or the foundation of Yah, it stands sure. I'm so glad of that. I'm glad that the foundation of Yah, his stay, his support, his strength, it stands sure. When something is sure, there is no deviating from it. One would say, I have a sure thing. His foundation uh, is the sure thing. Uh, he strengthened the bosom of this young uh, uh, laborer of Yah. He said, above all things, all of your agony, all of your trials, uh, all of your opposition, nevertheless, through all of that, uh, then the shatta, the foundation of Yah. When everything else fails, when all other things seem as though they oppose you, the battles are so intense, make sure you understand the foundation of Yah. It stands sure. It stands sure. It doesn't wave, it doesn't fall. He said the foundation of Yah stands sure. Not only that, he has given us an oath, a seal. How do I know this? This is our seal. This is the surety of our foundation. Ya, yada. He knows. He experienced. There's a relationship. Yada knows them that are his. He knows all them that are his. Thus. The sure fix of the foundation. Our support, our strength. He he knows them that are his. I don't give a damn what our mind, the mind of the enemy that has been created in us 20 years, 30, 40, 57 years, 65. And how our minds, 25, 23, how our mind speaks to us. That there is a doubt, we are not certain, uh, but our foundation stands sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that you know, but Yah knows them that are His. He knows. The world may not know, uh, but Yah knows. You may not know, but Yah knows. He knows them that are His. That is the seal. Uh, that is the seal that we can rest uh, assuredly in. Uh, he said, and let everyone that named the names uh, 
of the name of Hamashiach, uh, let us depart from Evel, from the injustice ways, uh, ways that are wrong and ways that are unjust. Uh, as we see one of the most unjust things taking place in this nation there in Stanford, Florida. I haven't talked about it. I had intended to uh, on Shemach Yisra'ya. That this young lad not messing with anyone in this beast of a thing follows this man. I said to Ak Shimri today, I said, if I'm out someone following me, what do you think I'm going to do? And this man gets out of his vehicle and shoots this young lad to death. And look at how the media is trying to malign this man, this young boy. And the thing that, that moved me more than anything, his, his ima, his avat, uh, this is what they said. You see, the, it's something about the mindset of a people that they said this, that all we want is justice. We're not looking for him to spend his life in prison, but yet he has taken their son. We're not looking for him to spend all of his life in prison. They have maligned this young man and yet this beast of a bastard, his daddy, a probate judge, the crimes that this bastard had committed, and all of that was covered. And they tried to make this young lad to look like a beast because he wore a hoodie and said he was a thug. What a damnable shame. I said, Shimri, I wear a hoodie around here. It gets cold, I pull it on and pull it down. Yah says, this is the sure seal of Yisra'ah. We name the name of your sure, let us speak for justice. For the Sadiq, that's what justice is. Uh, the Sadiq, the righteous counsel of Yah, the, the righteous judgment, the Shafat, uh, the government of Yah. And it makes no difference who it is. We must stand for justice. You understand? We must stand for what is just and what is right. If our foundation is destroyed, what are we going to do? We allow minds to become so polluted and desecrated that we can't stand for what is right. We can't stand for what is wrong. We stand for nothing. And that's the truth, Yisrael. Let me read that again. The words of strength of Shaul's mouth. Uh, he says in 2 Timothy 2.19, Nevertheless, uh, the, the foundation, the shatta, the support of Yah, the stay of Yah, His purpose uh, in us, even though we are being tried, the foundation of Yah is stands sure, having this seal. This is our seal of the assurance of Yah's foundation. He, Yada, he knows them that are His. And we know that we are his because we name the name of Yah in your Shur HaMashiach. And we have done that and we have departed from everything that is unjust, everything that is evil, everything that is vile and evil, everything that uh, tries to uh, dismantle and destroy the power of that which he has inscribed, the living glory in us by the power of the testimony of Yahshua HaMashiach. Don't be moved by these liars. Denying your sure, denying the Torah of Yah, denying his truth. Don't be persuaded by them. Uh, rejecting his name, uh, despising his name. Don't, uh, don't, be, don't be moved by that. Uh, there's an oath that he has sealed uh, by the power of his immutability that he cannot lie. He knows those. He knows Yisra'ah. You may not know the very zero of Yisra'ah, but he does. Uh, I'd rather he knows than I to know. I'd rather he knows who are his than for you to know. He knows. He knows. He may walk like a duck, but he says, that's mine. It may quack like a, a duck, but he says, that's mine. It may look like a dirty swine, but he will know. He knows. He yada. You understand, Yisrael? He knows them that are his. We must make sure that our foundation is solid. And there's only one way. It is simple. 
I want to direct you to this here in the book of Lucas, Luke 6, 40, 47. This is all we have to do, Yisrael. Look what it says here in the book of Lucas 6, 47. Yoshua utters this unto us for our own assurance and strength. The book of Lucas 6, 47. He says, whosoever come to me, he says, and Jena hears with faithful obedience to operate within that instruction. Whosoever comes to me and hear my Nibarim, my Deba, my words, and above all, he said, and does or asa to fashion your mind to walk in it, to act in it, to love it, to practice it. He said, and does them. He said, I will show you to whom he is like. We must hear and we must do. We know that the foundation of Yah stands sure. So in order for us to stand on the sure foundation, this is the instructions uh, of the Torah of Yah, Yahshua. He said he is like a man which builds a bed, a house. We are the spiritual uh, storehouse of Yah. This is where his tithes and his offerings, uh, his gifts are brought to this house. Uh, he tithes unto us. Uh, he gives unto us the refreshing of life. Uh, the substance of his Torah. He pours out opening the windows of heavens uh, and he pours out us the riches of Yahshua HaMashiach. Uh, and so we know that we have uh, a house uh, that extends beyond the beauty of the bed that Yah built for Yah. For his name shall never removed out of this house you understand so in knowing that in hearing the words and to build and to erect the house of yah this is what that man does he begins to he digs deep down he finds everything in him that offends yah he looks for everything that opposes yah he looks for every opposition of his nature his mind his heart that despises the mandate of Almighty Yah. He digs deep. He doesn't go service. He digs deep, Yisrael. He said he is like a man that dug deep. Uh, and he laid uh, a foundation uh, on the rock as the old ones would say of Gibraltar. On the rock, the hair of Yah, the truth. Uh, on the power of Almighty Yah, on the revelation uh, of your sure he digs deep into the word because he knows that there is where his stay lies, his support lies, his strength lies. In your sure Hamashiach, he digs deep, he builds his foundation, uh, his uh, his shota on a on a on a rock. He says, and when the floods began to arise, when the strong winds of hell began to blow. When the torrid beguiling of Hashotan began to rise up on every corner around you. He said the streams began to beat vehemently with destructive power. Whereby even your power to resist and to withstand. There is no power in your nature to do it. Only because you have dug deep. You get deep into the Torah. When the, when the enemy speaks to your mind, you get deep into the Torah of Yah. In my days, they would say, I want to go deep and deeper. Deeper depths, depths and higher heights. You dug deep. When the opposition has died, when you got deep into the promises of God, when all that beat upon the bayat, uh, he said, uh, it could not even shake it. We're not going to be shaken, Yisrael. As long as we anchor upon the rock of Almighty, you won't be shaken. The very torrid winds of the mouth of man, Walmart, our enemy, we will not be shaken. It will not bruise us. We will not deny him, Yisrael. He said because it was founded upon the principles of the Rach, the hair, the power of the living Torah of Almighty Yah. For one knows that I have the power of Yah's truly redemptive power to the revelation 
of Yahshua HaMashiach. And what was hidden from them physically in the Torah, because they cannot walk in the spiritual element of the Torah, the revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach, the revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach, it opened our eye in, our mental and our spiritual ability to understand this living Torah. And so the more we understand, the deeper we dig. And to make sure that we check even the foundation continuously, uh, that there is nothing that is evil, unjust, uh, wicked in our love, uh, to practice that which is of deceit and corruption, uh, whereby our foundation will begin to, you will begin to see the crux, uh, the infractions there. And you're going to fall, Yisrael. Hallelujah. But your assurance in Lucas 6.49. But he, that Shemach, that hears, and does not, is like a man without a foundation. You just can't hear and do not. You can't hear this and do not allow it to perform in you what Yah his stature, his hook, his hook him, his prescribed prescription, mandate, pleasure for you, his purpose, you can't hear it and not allow that to perform. He that hears and does not is like a man that is without a foundation, and built his bed upon earth, upon that which has no stability. Are we not earthen vessels? And our earthen vessels have no stability. None whatsoever. We're weak, we're fragile, our bodies are fragile. We get sick, we hurt, we're fragile. We can't build upon the strength of this natural nature, Yisrael. We cannot do that. When we don't hear it's like us and will not do it's like us building a, our foundation upon our own strength and our own state. We have no power to stay. We cannot, we cannot stay death. We cannot stay terror. We cannot stay anything. You understand? Hallelujah. He says, uh, and when one does that without a foundation upon the earth uh, against which the streams did beat vehemently, uh, he said, and immediately the house fell. Our passion, our desire, our love for Yad fell because uh, we were not anchored. We were not anchored upon the sure foundation, Yisra'ya. The house fell. He said, and the ruins of that bed, of that house, it was ra, great, abundantly. It was devastating. It brought down. I've seen whole families brought down. I've seen families, they all began to run this race. And all of a sudden you see them in every kind of vile action, activity. And one could ever imagine that the daughters and the sons do things that even the parents would not do. He said the fall of that house was great. The magnitude of it was beyond the ability to express. The only thing I can say, it was great. Israel. We must as a nation, we cannot just look and read. We must perform what your commands us. We must do it. That is the only way you're going to build upon this sure foundation. Because you cannot name the name of your, your sure and not depart from injustice ever. That's why this nation is going to be brought down to the gates of hell. That's why you've got to come out of her mindset. She is a wicked, vile nation of injustice. There is no justice here. Those are the diasporas. There is no justice from day one for a people. And it's wrong, Yisra'ah. Yah is going to bring her down. And the sons and the daughters of this nation uh, shall procure unto them uh, what their fathers uh, and their forefathers' actions uh, 
have produced. That's not right. Be not deceived, my people. Yes, not mock. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. Yah said, I shall curse the children, even your sons and your daughters, you that you avoid that hate me, even to the third and the fourth generation. Because they despise. When Yah uses his khala, you are despicable and a vile thing in his presence. And he doesn't even mention your name. Now that speaks volume, Yisra'ya. We have a sure foundation. Our foundation shall never fail. It's going to stand, Yisra'ya. And we can rest assuredly, yeah? It's going to stand. Let me redirect your attention back to Tim Timothy. Yes, 1 Timothy. Hallelujah. Ja'ur writes to this precious man. That's a beautiful thing to have precious young men that love Yah. You don't find that today. I will show you why. But let me move on here. So he speaks to him concerning the reason that he is writing him. And the activities and the other affairs that are persistent there. And the activities in his life as well. He says in 1 Timothy 3 and verse 14. <clears throat> he says, these things I do write unto you, my ark, my passion, my desire is to come to you shortly. To embrace, to kiss you, uh, and to leave the riches of Yah upon you. And not only that. But to receive the great abundance of the riches of Yah from you. That I know what he has done so magnificently uh, in your hands. Your tender breath in your hands. I know you're sincere. Hallelujah. He says, but if I tarry long, if I wait long. Uh, that you may know how you ought to behave yourself. Uh, I'm writing in case I don't get there in time. Uh, I want to make sure you behave this way. Uh, in be it of Yah. Which is the congregation of the living Yah. He says not only that, but the congregation of the pillar. It is the pillar and the ground or the foundation of the truth. Our Zakin, as he spoke to us concerning the pillar of Yah. See, Shaul says it is the pillar, the house of Yah. It's difficult for us to believe that that's the strength of his character. That's why our foundation, he is our foundation, it stands sure. It is his house. It stands sure. It is the identity of him. It is the sure strength of his character. He says, I'm writing this unto you. Now, in case I, I, I don't get there in time, he says unto him, uh, he says unto him, uh, in this, he's talking about... Uh, this house, the house, the congregation of the living Yah. He said the congregation is the, it is the, the pillar. And he uses the word ground. But it is expressed in the same expression, the, the foundation of Almighty Yah, which is his shatta, the strength. This is what strengthens. Do you not understand that Yah is ruach? And we are the strength of his testimony. We are the firstborn. We are the bichor. Those are the birthright. After the resurrection of Yoshua HaMashiach. And the pillow cannot come down. It cannot. It cannot. If it comes down then the testimony of the Nobi, the writings of the prophets of the testimony of Omar Yah. then there's no power of any or the light of the witness of Yahshua at all uh, in us Yisraya. let me read that again but if I tarry long uh, that you may know how you ought to behave yourself and be it uh, uh, of Yah, which is the congregation of the living Abba the living Yah, the pillar and foundation, the ground of truth. We are the pillar of truth. If you have no pillar of truth, you have nothing. Nothing. We are the foundation. We are the pillar of his truth. His congregation, his elect, his house. This man has given us the composition of that. 
the composite it, uh, attributes of it. We must have wisdom and knowledge and understanding. We must have a moon, Yisra'ya. We must abide in the Ahavav, ya. Come on. We are the foundation of his imams. We are the living truth of Yah. Because your sure lives, we have the power. He was the word, was he not? Because he lived and uh, we live. His word dwells richly in us. He is the testimony of our lives, Yisra'ya. Don't let that be robbed from your bosom. Hallelujah. We know that the Torah defines what truth is. Dawid and Tehillim. 119, 142 to 152. You don't have to read that now, but he defines that. And his Torah is truth. And we're not the epitome of Torah. We are the living Torah. We are the writing of Torah. It is written in us. His Torah and all of his Torah, his mitzvah, his commands, his statutes, all of that, all 613, it is in the bosom of Yisra'ya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to express, let me, this is vital to us, and I, and I want to express this, the foundation, if the foundation be destroyed, the stay, the purpose of Yah, the strength, the support of Yah. I, I want to just emphasize that here. All right? T turn quickly to, the, to, to, to Helium. Psalms here. Psalms, uh, I'm... Uh, 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 second Shemu, yeah, that's where I want. His stay is his support for us. His, it is what sustains us. Isn't that what sustains us, bread? The lechem of Yah. So it is a protector for Yisra'ya. And Daiwi speaks here of the Mish'in, the stay, the Mish'in. In Second Shemuel 22.1. I'm going to read, but I'm going to skip for the purpose of making sure that there's great clarity, all right? Daiwi, this is a, this is a shiram to ya for the very powerful deliverance of Yisra'ya out of the many chaotic circumstances that encircle them. Sometimes our minds are encircled by so many things, isn't it? You got oppression and agony, suppression, uh, the opposition. Uh, and our mind sometimes we wonder, how do I get out of this circumstance, y'all? Yeah. We must have the ma'ing, the, the sustaining power, the support of y'all. Yeah. And that we know what y'all had done, he began to relish uh, and to sing of the beauty of what y'all had done. And he speaks here as... Nobi records this for us in 2 Shemuel, Yah, 2 Samuel 22, 1. And David spoke to Yah the words of this shirim, this song, this deliverance from his bosom. In the day that Yah had Nassal had delivered Yisra'ya, he was the one that rescued us and saved us from all of our misery. And so this was the appreciation of Daiweed unto Yah. He began to sing. He delivered him out of the hands of not some, not a portion, but he says, Kul, the whole, the very company, the hosts of all of his those that are diametrically opposed to him, those that are adversarial unto him, and those that desire to destroy, he deliver him from all of his enemies. Oh, not some, but all of his enemies. And not of, out of all of his enemies, even out of the hands of Shaul, the king, even the one that had power to kill him, but yet whose power is greater than Yah. And he said to Yah, he said, Yah is my sila, he is my rock. That's what he said. Yah is my rock, he is my stronghold, 
He is my security. That is why, that's why you will see that we say, Sila, uh, Sila, uh, this is my rock. He said, Yah is my stronghold. He is our security. Uh, he is also my masut, uh, my fortress. He is the one that I fast hold on to. I attach myself to him. Uh, give our minds over to the Torah of Yah. He said, He is my palat. He is my deliverer. No one can deliver. He brings us uh, to the place of security. He is our palat. He is the one that brings us to security. And the power of his truth, Yisrael, he said, the almighty one of my rock is the mighty one of your sure in him. He said, will I hasa, will I seek my refuge in him? Not within yourself. He said, I will seek my refuge. I will flee into the Torah for protection. I will run and hide myself in the bosom, the pavilion, under the wings of Yah, until the indignation be passed over. He says, not only is he my rock in whom I trust, the one that I chasa, but he is also my marine, my shield. He is the one that protects my mind, my, my love. He is the one that protects me, Yisraya. It is his Torah in my bosom uh, that is the defense uh, of the testimony uh, of Yoshua HaMashiach. And not only that, but he is a Kerin. He is the horn. And we know that the Kerin is always symbolic of strength. He is my strong one. Yours a strong one. Blow ye the herin in Tizayon, Yisra'ya. For the strength of Yah. That's why the shofar was blown to let us know to revive us. That our strength and our assurance rests in the Torah of Almighty Yah. He is the horn of my Yoshach, of my deliverance. He says he is my ha. Tower, he is my Mishka, he is the one whereby this high place or my mind can seclude to for this place of security and shalom. He is my high place, he elevates us above the trials and the circumstances because there is no foundation, there is no opposition that can destroy the foundation of Yah. You see, he is our stay, he is our stay, Yisrael. And there is no doubt about it. He is the Mish'in. He is the stay. And the staff. But more importantly, he is the Mish'in. He is the stay. Hallelujah. He said, you are my Yashach. You delivered me from the Hamas. From the cruel, wicked injustice. He delivered me. He says... He says, knowing all that, he uses the word, I will, khara, I will call on Yah, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be delivered from my enemies. When the waves of death come past me and the floods of Belia, of those that are worthless, vain, and vile, and worthless men, when they made my heart to ira, to be afraid, in trepidation, I tremble. Uh, he said, the sorrows of hell compass me. Death just consume me. And the snares of death were before me. He said, in all of that great pata, uh, in all of that distress, uh, he said, in all of that pata, I was made free. In all of my distress, I call upon Yah, and I cry to my Abba, and he did hear my voice out of the great tabernacle, his, uh, his congregation. And my cry did enter into his zend. He bowed the heavens. And he came down in darkness 
under his feet. I want to get to the other part, all right. I'm not going to read all of it. Drop down to verse 18. I want to get to this because I want to make sure that my friend knows that I abide within the same construct as the one that he esteemed and his ability to articulate and to give us a wise counsel within a certain construct. How about that? All right. Verse 18. He said, Yah is the one that delivered me from my strong enemies, uh, from them that hate me. He said, for they were too strong for me. I couldn't handle them. They confronted me uh, in the day of my AIDS, my great distress of calamity, and the burdens were so uh, perplexing, so difficult. But this is the key here, the sure foundation. But he says, but Yah was my mishend. He was my stay. He was my protector. He was my substance. He said, but Yah was my stay. He was my mishend. He said, but Yah was my stay. He was my mission. He was my protector. He was the substance uh, of my assurance uh, against strong enemies. Uh, he said, and he brought me forth also uh, into a large place, into his uh, bosom, uh, into his shirt. He brought me forth into a broad place. Uh, he delivered me. Why? Because, yeah, because he delights in you. He said, your delights in me. I know we don't. It doesn't seem that we're worth a damn. We're not worth a damn. But because his foundation stands true, he knows them that he is. Uh, come on, Yisrael. I know we're not worth anything but the fires of hell. But he has sealed us with his oath. You're mine. He is our stay. He is your mission. He is the substance of your ability to be strong. He is that. He is your supporter. You feel oppressed and cast down. You began to eat the stay, the breath, the lachem. He delights in you. And it pleased Almighty Yah to bruise Yahshua HaMashiach. It pleased Him. We are the body. We are the body of Yahshua. And it has faith. Pleases Him. That we, even though we are bruised, we shall take delight in the bosom of Yah. How do you stretch your arms around that bosom? You cannot do it, can you? It cannot be done. He is our stay, Yisrael. Don't allow the enemy to disrupt you and to cause you to doubt that. Yah is your mishin. He is your stay. Our foundation, it shall not fail. It stands assuredly. Even when the greatest of calamities fall upon the land. Upon the Erech, the earthen vessels of our nation. Our nation is built of Erech. It is built of the earthly soil. And we are built from that same mass. Earth, soil, dirt. Hallelujah. And even in the midst of all of the greatest of calamities, when every kind of tyranny uh, is, uh, is being uh, uh, assaulted against us or pursuing us, uh, there's a great... Stay or more aim for us. And the prophet uh, uh, Yeshua, Isaiah, he speaks of this prophetically for us. Isaiah 3, 1. Move quickly because I shall finish on time. When I got in here, I said, I wish I had asked Zachim ben because I really don't feel like the feel. You understand? But that's all right. You don't have to feel the feel. We just do it by... Faith. Hallelujah. 
the very nurturing of this great Nabi as he utters unto us here in Yeshaya Isaiah 3 1. He says, For behold, or see, open your eye, and allow Yah to anoint your eyes with eyes have that you may see. He says, For see the sovereign Yah. He is the one of Zava, the one of hosts, of the great armies of heaven. He said, this is what he does. He shall take away. He's going to remove that from Yerushalayim and from Yehuda, the stay, the mishain, the protected, the substance, the stay and the shoain, the staff. And that sure ain't, you know what you use a staff for. It is for support. He shall take that away. And not only that, but the whole mishain, the whole stay of bread, and the whole stay of the living water. Why will you do that, Yah? What is our stay today? Yah has among us, he has given us that the mishain to give us strength security that's why there are those among us in in the elevated positions of yah there's a grave responsibility if we don't fulfill it won't unto us that he shows us here the stay of israel i want you to hear this yeshaya 3 2 he said he's going to take away the stay and the staff. He's going to take away the mishain, the, the, the security of Yisra'ya. He said not only that, but I'm going to take away the gebor, the mighty man. He said the man of war or milchaya, the man that is able to fight spiritually and to operate in the spiritual realm. I'm going to take that away. We need that Yisra'ya. That's why the enemy caused us to, uh, to have such a, a, a distaste for those uh, that will, 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 will set us aright in the ways of Omar Yah. And we go out and establish our own ways of our immaturity. Yeah? And then you cause others to fall into the same ditch. He's going to take away the Gabor or the strong men. He's going to take away those that are spiritually uh, effective to fight. He's going to take away the Shofat, the judges. Those that are able to govern us in the Torah of Yah. And to instruct us in the ways of Yah. Not only that, when we violate it. Uh, to show us the proper uh, punishment of the res- uh, uh, what we have procured unto ourselves. Uh, not only that, but the Navi. Where, where, where's the prophet today? You have many that say they're prophets. We need that stay among Yisra'ya, the prophet. We need men that are warriors. We need the Geber, the mighty men of strength that are not so easily broken. He says, and also the Kassam, or the men that are prudent, that are men that are wise, and those that are with wisdom and understanding and the prophetic things of Yah that are necessary for Yisra'ya. He says, and the ancient, the Zakhin, men that are old and wise, bath that have wisdom and knowledge. Their words are seasoned, their countenance, their, their, their desire. Where are they? This is what Yah's doing. He says, I'm taking it away. But there's a promise for you. All right, we'll get to that. He said, the men, the captains of 50 and the honorable men and the Yahats, those that have the ability to counsel you in the Torah of Yah. He said, and not only them, but the cunning artificer or those that are hachan or the skillful ones and the wisdom of Yah, their skill in the practical things of Yah, and also the uh, eloquent or the being uh, orators, those that, that, that have the power to discern and to speak, uh, eloquent, to open our ears uh, and understanding uh, that even the little ones can hear. He said, I'm going to take that away. And then he says this. He said, and I will give you children. Or na. I had to inspect that for a little greater depth of word. He said, children, but nah. It is, I want to define that one specifically. He said, I'm going to give you, in essence, immature boys. That's what a na'a is. A boy, someone that is young, a servant, and a retainer. 
young boys. I'm going to cause the young boys to be yours uh, of the princes, those that are rulers. We find many young boys today think they're chieftains and rulers and think they have a knowledge of the Torah. And well, my friend told her, he said, over them. And the people shall be nagas, they shall be oppressed, everyone by another. And everyone his neighbor. And he said, and the child or this little boy shall behave himself proudly now against, they shall rise up against Yisrael, against the Zachain, the elders. You understand? They shall rise up these, uh, these immature boys uh, that have nothing, they're proud for. He said they shall rise up against the elders. I can say this, my Zakim, and I will be a liar if I said I have. I don't care who the man was. If he was a Zakim, I've never risen up against one. The last time I went to Delaware, an old man, he's 77, 78 years old. And I said to the old man, old man, I never talk when I'm with you in the sense that I give you all the leeway. I say, but this time I'm talking. And so the old man is asking me questions, thinking he is going to confuse me. But he could not do that. And so out of all of that, he rose up from his seat after he had gotten quiet. And I began to utter from the depths of that little shallow well in my bosom. And he went among the women that represents uh, the Bayat Yisraya that are in need of a head. We're in need of a head, are we not? And the utterance of his word that the man is real. He's a wise man and he cares. For the house of Yisrael. I will not let the old man talk that time. I didn't disregard him. I embraced him. And may not ever see him again. And that's the truth. You understand? I hope he by some chance may listen tonight. He will know who he is. You understand Yisrael? So these young. Uh, they shall rise up. Against the Zakhin. They will not submit. They will not. You don't find young men today to submit to no one. They're not. Uh, they're boys. They're not men. They're not uh, the gebo of strength. Yisraya. He said, and the chala of the baseless one. Those that are, uh, those that are uh, a little boy, boy boys, uh, have no self-esteem. They, they're lightly esteem. Uh, they have no strength. Uh, he said, they shall rise up against the most honorable. And say, so you're a liar. You have no strength. That what it shall be when you remove the stay from among Yisraya. So you look in the midst of the congregation. And if that is persistent among us, you know that there is no stay of Yah among us as a nation. But there is deliverance for his house. The same Nobi speaks in the 10th chapter, verse 20. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, this is you here. He said, I'm going to take the stay away. Did he not say that? Yeah. But for his elect. Verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that same day. He says that the shita or the remnant, that which is left to rest. The remainder when the stay is taken, the residue uh, of Yisrael. And such as are escape of Bayat Yaqob shall no more again mishang stay upon him that smoke them. Those that have smitten you, they will not be your stay in this nation. Yisrael, the stay of a wicked government, uh, has been our stay, our mishain. Has been the bread provider. But Yah says, uh, you shall escape. And not only that. He says, but shall stay. But we are going to stay. Our 
shall aim. We're going to lean upon. We're going to trust. Our support shall be upon almighty Yahweh. You hear that? That's why we must escape the very, uh, the, the very assaults against our minds that the enemy uh, continu- continuously herald against us. Uh, but we that escape the remnant, the, 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 the ball here of Yah, but shall stay, shall aim, we shall lean and trust. He shall be our support upon Yah, the Kadosh one of Yisra'ah Yah, in truth. He's going to be our stay. Aren't you glad about that? We don't want the government to be our stay, uh, the, uh, uh, his assistance. In this hour, we want Yah to be our stay. Our foundation stands sure. It's not going to be brought down desolate. It's not going to come down, Yisra'ah. Hallelujah. And verse 21, he says in the Shep'a or the Bo'ia, shall return even the remnant of Yaakov to the Gabor. See, mighty is a Gabor. Did not Yah say he would take away the mighty man? No. He called them Gabor. And we're going to return unto our Gabor. He is our Gabor, our mighty one. He is our strength. He is our assurance. He is the assurance. He is our support. He is our sustainer. That's why if the foundation be destroyed, what do we do? Well, it's not going to be destroyed. There's an oath from Yah. He knows them that are His. Hallelujah. 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 Let me close here with this writing here out of the book of Second Chronicles. Dibri Chayim. Second Chronicles 13.16. This is when Abihah, when he began to reign over Yehuda, Yah gave him strength. He was a Geber and the victory over Yeroboam. This is uh, a small tidbit of that account and the results of his action because it was the will of Yah. We're going to overcome our enemy. All right. Did not that we overcome all of his enemies? So are we. All right. Second Chronicles 13, 16. And the children of Yisrael fled before Yehudah. And Yah delivered them into their hand. Yah delivered the ten tribes into the hand of the two tribes, Yehudah, because of the sins and the wickedness. And Abiyah and his people slew them with a great killing, a great slaughter. So that there fell down slain of Yisra'ah 500,000 chosen men. The mightiest of men. The warriors. The elect. Verse 18. So the children of Yisra'ah were humble. They were Chana. They were not exalted. They were humble. Second Chronicles 13, 18. So the bane of Yisra'ah were humble. They were Chana at that time. He had to humble them. He had to bring them down. You understand? So that's what the fire is going to, is going to bring us down. We're going to be Chana at that time. And the children of Yehuda prevail because they, the word I know, it says relied, but it is Sha'in. They trusted. They relied. Yah was their support. He commanded because they trusted upon Yah, the sovereign master, of the Avat, we must trust. As we sing the song, put it in your hands, he will make it all right. Put it in the hands of Yah because they sure aim. He was their stay, he was their substance, their strength. They prevail. We are Yisra'ah because we have prevailed and we shall. Prevail. This last verse for my young friend, and we all will understand this in Mishli proverb. This is the word of wisdom cries out to us. I will close with this wise speech from the Lev of Shaul. Proverbs 3 5. He says, But uh, 
Have confidence of great encouragement. Trust in Yah with all your love. And he uses the word lean, which is sure aim. Don't allow your understanding to be the stay, the strength, the supporter, the sustainer, and sure aim not to your own understanding of your bina. Isn't it beautiful when we can understand the words that Yah speaks? Isn't it? See, the word lean means you don't allow it is sure in. Sure in. Which is don't allow your understanding to be the stay. You batach. You trust Yah with great confidence. Even in death, you trust Him. Even in the perils of the height of the most oppressive tyranny of your enemies, you trust and don't lean. Don't let your understanding be your sure aim, your strength, your support, your substance. Don't lean toward your understanding. May the riches of Yah rest upon Yisrael Yah and strengthen you all, you that have joined us. We greet you all in your surest mighty name. I hope my young friend noticed what time it is. Hallelujah. And for the small little pains of the mikhub that we endure, it is just a small thing, Yisraya. So I do barakya. Uh, I know one thing that we, he is not marked. I have sown things in this earthen body, and I'm going to reap it. And I'm not going to get by that. Neither are you. And so I may pray and say, oh, yeah, help me. And just, I just have to endure some things. So must you. I've done things to his bay at his house in ignorance, in blatant defiance. And so I'm not going to get by. I'm not. I have done it. I've sown to my flesh. So there are corrupt things that come out of the flesh. And I reap the corruption. And so as the corruption comes forth, uh, I sow to the Ruach, oh, yeah. oh help me. <laughs> I need your help, yeah. And then when I sow to the Ruach, I, re I reap life everlasting. May the riches of Yah rest upon you all. May he strengthen you. And I am within proximity of time. Let us stand to our feet. Hallelujah. I hope that the few Hebraic words were not overbearing did not overtake the minds, and I hope that the time was not a restraint. Ya Barak, and all things are above. We do Barak you in your sure's mighty name, strengthen us, and cause the level of Yisraya to be encouraged your healing upon all your people, wherever they are in every nation, and scattered among every people, um, nation, people, culture, every kind of government. So a imas, but this is the us that you knoweth them that are yours. And I am so glad, Yah, you're going to save Yisrael, Yah. And we're so glad that our foundation stands sure. Strengthen us all on this chadve imat and cause you like to shine continuously, indelibly upon the minds. The testimony of Kol Yisrael, Yah, scattered abroad. Heal us all, touch us. In your Yeshua's mighty name, take those home, our Zachin, as he traveled, our Chot, uh, Abiyya, and uh, also our Chot, Blunt, and our children. In your Yeshua's name, give us all rest here, we ask, in the most blessed name of assurance, the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we will rock you with our voice as we cry, Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ya Barak Yisrael.